Hey, welcome everyone. Today we are talking about weight loss. And as a nutrition coach, this is generally the number one goal for my clients who come to me for help. Now it is my duty to tell you there is more to life than weight loss, but I get it whether you step on the scale, you use the waistband of your pants to judge, or you just look in the mirror, you may find yourself wanting to lose weight, right? Ultimately, that comes down to your food intake. What you eat is directly correlated to your weight. Now, yes, exercise is important too, but today we're just gonna focus on dieting for weight loss. So here are three tips for you to help you lose weight and to actually keep that weight off, because we all know that is a massive struggle with weight loss, right? So tip number one, you've gotta have a plan. Whatever you're gonna do, whatever you choose to do to lose weight, you've got to write it down. It will help you stay accountable and it will help you make decisions with your goals in mind. So whether this means writing it down on your mirror in your bathroom so that you see it when you get up every morning or putting a sticky note on your work computer so that you see it every day. You may even wanna set reminders on your phone so that you're constantly reminded of your weight loss goal. You also need to have a plan for situations that you know will be difficult for you. For example, um, going to parties. What will you do with a full spread of food? What if it's buffet style? Are you going to say no completely? Or are you gonna allow yourself to have one of everything at the table? Are you gonna fill one plate at one time and then graze on that, um, that like controlled portion throughout the night? And then what about holidays? Another environment where food is always in abundance, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna let yourself just enjoy the meal without restrictions? Are you gonna stick to the one plate rule? Are you gonna make an excuse to leave early before the meal is even served? And then, I mean, what about a happy hour event when people are all drinking alcohol around you? There's no right or wrong answer. It's just important to make a plan. Don't leave it up to impulse when you arrive at the party or the event. Willpower and self-control, it'll never always be at 100%. You'll have moments of weakness. So plan ahead for those by making a plan before you go. All right, tip number two, pick something or a diet plan that fits into your lifestyle and not something that you have to completely overhaul your life to fit into. Don't pick something just because it worked for your coworker. It worked is incredibly subjective. Study after study after study shows that in the long run, quick fix diets don't work. The number one culprit I see of this is the keto diet. Many people see short-term success by going keto, you know, as they cut out sugar and all carbohydrates to drop weight, but then come back to them in a year and that weight is back plus more. All you do when you restrict whole food groups like the keto diet is put your body's willpower in overdrive. So unless you're doing something, you know, for specific health reasons as prescribed by your doctor, there's no evidence that quick fix diets like these actually work for the long haul. The bottom line is you have to live your life and food will always be part of that. So if you choose a diet that's gonna completely change your life, you'll end up resenting it and you're gonna quit. Or, you know, as society likes to call it, falling off the wagon or you know, going off the rails. So be realistic, set yourself up for success and find a plan that fits into your lifestyle, not the other way around. All right, my third and final tip, tip number three, get some help. Involve other people. Maybe you involve your friends or you involve your family members and hold each other accountable. There might be a friend who has similar goals to you or a family member or even a spouse who can help with meal prepping and meal planning and maybe just share meal ideas with you. You could even hire a coach, someone who you know you have to report back to, someone who's going to be checking in on you regularly, someone you hear in the background when you're sitting there struggling with your own willpower and cravings, someone who's going to remind you, hey, make a better choice, make a better decision. Don't just go with the sugary snacks that are in front of you because you're hungry or because you don't have any other snacks available to you right then and there. So number one, make a plan. Number two, stick to something that fits with your lifestyle, not the other way around. And number three, get some help. I know that the food and nutrition industry is overflowing with advice and quick fixes, but try to find something that will fit with your schedule and your lifestyle, not the other way around. 
and you're gonna find lasting weight loss success. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think, maybe what you wanna hear next time, and until then, be well. I'll see you soon.